Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Matthew Michael, and welcome to the Robinhood 52 week premium selling challenge. I am so excited to be back doing another challenge with you guys. The selling premium challenge thing is still going to take some getting used to from me, but uh, we'll make some adjustments as we go along. But nonetheless, I am absolutely pumped to be back. Also, I just wanted to let you know that I made a new Discord group chat. I have an older one, but I haven't really been active on that. And on this one, I would like to be more active. Maybe do voice chats early in the mornings, either before market open or early in the morning or later in the evening on Sundays, just to kind of chat and connect with you guys. So we can kind of talk about and share any news that we know that could move the market, move a particular stock or anything just to help each other out. I really love connecting with you guys and I believe Discord is a really good way to do it. I was able to do it a little bit in the old Discord group chat, but this new Discord group chat is a little more organized and I definitely want to be a lot more active in it. So if you're interested in that, uh, there will be a link down below in the description. You'll probably be one of the first ones to sign up for the Discord because as of right now, it's just me and maybe like five or six bots in there. But uh, look forward to getting to know you better and seeing you in the Discord. And also while you're down there in the description, if you haven't already and you're interested in signing up for Webull and getting two free stocks valued from $8 to $1,600, Webull is honoring this promotion until the end of the month. When you open a new account on Webull and fund it $100, you get two free stocks valued from $8 to $1,600 just for signing up and making that deposit. And if you want to support the channel while getting those two free stocks, please be sure to use the Webull referral link down below in the description. And for those of you who sign up using the Webull referral link down below in the description, thank you. And one last thing before you get into the video, I'm just going to take my Instagram and I'm going to leave it right here. Do with it as you will. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. So I wasn't really expecting this challenge to be as fast paced as it lasts, but Right out of the gates on Monday, we got some action. At the start of the day, I was able to close out my visa spread, locking in $18 profit of the $35 originally credited to my account, locking in a little over 50% profit. Having started the challenge with $393 in my account of my own money, I reached a 5% goal right there, right off the bat. And honestly, right there, I was done. I was ready to call it a week. I learned from the last challenge not to get greedy, just chill after you make your profits. But that would have been too easy. Not too long after I close out the visa spread, I receive a notification from Tiblio that I may want to close out my spread on UPS. It expired on October 2nd and after checking the news, I saw that UPS received a barrage of upgrades. So I figured just as Tiblio said that it would be a good idea to close out of that spread. It was a 162.5, 165 call credit spread. I initially sold it for a $47 credit and ended up buying it back for $117, locking in a loss of $70, bringing my progress from the week from being up $18 to being down $52. It was a slap in the face, but I thought, well, I'll shake it off anyway. But then just before the day was over, I received another notification from Piblio that it may be a good idea to close out of my put credit spread on the queues. And that spread expired on October 2nd too. So my time was beginning to wear thin. I had less than two weeks on the spread and it looked as if it didn't have a chance. So I closed out of the trade at a loss of $37. Looking on the bright side, which is something I think is really important to learn how to do if you're trading in the markets, I managed to preserve $30 of my max loss. My max loss was $67. It was a QQQ put credit spread with a 273 and a 274 strike. And then after I closed out that position, I finally made it to the end of the hectic Monday that really knocked me off my feet for the start of this challenge. By the end of the day, I had locked in an $89 loss, resulting in a 22% loss on the challenge so far. Tuesday, I decided it was a good day to just kind of sit back, watch, not really do anything in the portfolio and kind of see what Tesla did and see how my position would react. Because Tuesday was battery day and anything could happen after hours. And just like I said, anything could happen after hours. Battery day actually seemed very promising for Tesla's future, but over the next couple days, Tesla fell to near $300. So my Tesla positions did not receive the juice that I was really hoping to get for them. To this date, I still haven't closed out on my Tesla position, but at the moment, just as an update, I'm currently sitting at the max possible loss on them. My max loss is $126. I'm sitting at the max loss, so I'm really just waiting on the potential catalyst of the number of deliveries to 
Give Tesla some potential momentum and maybe me close out of these spreads profitably. But now Tuesday has come to a close and it's now Wednesday. So I guess now is a good time to say that that loss that I took on UPS on Monday, I actually made a mistake and I took that loss on Wednesday. So overall, Monday wasn't that bad. I was only down $19 for the challenge and definitely still in it for the week at that point. And like I said, that $70 UPS loss actually happened on Wednesday. Now, aside from the $70 UPS loss, I'm still sitting in Tesla. And on top of that, I picked up a new position in Honeywell as well. I opened a 150, 152.5 put credit spread on Honeywell. It has a max loss of $199 and it expires on October 16th. So, so we have a little bit of time on it. So after I picked up that position, that concludes Wednesday. It is now Thursday morning and early morning I received a sell trigger for a $58 loss on Honeywell. But I decided to stay in the trade because it still had three weeks worth of time on it and it really wasn't that far from where I needed to be. And it was still well above the price that I needed it to be at. And the next day they actually came out and announced a dividend increase. And in times such as these, of course that caused the stock price to go up. So now the stock price is chilling at $161.49 and now I'm up on my spread. That's all that really happened on Thursday. And Friday, I didn't really take any action either. So at the end of the week, we closed out the week with $89 in locked in losses and $48 and left resulting buying power. Now, next week, expect to show because that's when the Tesla spreads expire. And on those spreads, I'm already sitting at my max loss. So it's only up from here and Tesla should be announcing their number of deliveries next week. So there's a potential catalyst. Hopefully this catalyst can offset the max loss of $126. But if not, we still got a long way to go in this challenge and we'll get there. But going ahead, the plan is with these credit spreads to take it nice and slow, at least until I get enough to start selling calls and puts. I may have gotten off to a rough start, but I have to remember that a 5% gain would have only been $13 for this week. So I really just need to make small profits in order to reach my goal right now. And of course, as I pick up steam, my profits will grow. But if you enjoyed the video or learned anything, please be sure to smash the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I want to know for those of you who decided to take the challenge, how this week go for you? Hopefully it went a lot better for you than it did for me. But yeah, I want to know. Let me know down below in the comments. And, and if for some reason you made this far and you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I post two new videos every week and I would absolutely love to have you as part of the family. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching and peace.